Okay, in this video, we're going to look at Jacob's Ladder. So what I have set up here is a high voltage step up transformer, 120 volts AC on the primary to 12,000 volts on the secondary. And for my electrodes, I have a couple of lengths of 12 gauge solid copper wire. Now I've adjusted the spark gap near the bottom to be the narrowest, so that's where it will start. And as it goes up, the spark gap gets larger. So I'll energize the primary of this transformer with 120 volts AC. Okay, so let's have a closer look at what's happening here. So basically we have two electrodes connected to the output of the high voltage transformer and the transformer is putting out 12,000 volts. Now that voltage potential is applied across this air gap from here to here and the dielectric separating the elect electrodes is air. So air is an insulator but when the potential is strong enough it overcomes the dielectric and an arc can jump across the two electrodes which we saw. Now the arc ionizes the air which becomes plasma. Now plasma is a state of matter. The three other states of matter that we know of are solids, liquids and gases. So plasma is sometimes called a fourth state of matter. Now the plasma is very hot and it superheats the air around it which causes the, the arc to rise. So that's why we see the arc rise towards the top. Now the arc rises up the ladder until it reaches a gap large enough that the voltage cannot overcome the dielectric strength. So at this point a new arc is formed at the bottom and this cycle repeats over again. Now plasma is a conductor of electricity so it responds strongly to electromagnetic fields. Because of this property we could solve another problem which we will look into next. Okay in front of me I have a general purpose relay it's made by Potter and Brumfield. I just wanted to show you a feature of this relay. Now when a relay switches an inductive load, like an induction motor, uh, when armature pulls in, turns on the motor, and then when it shuts it off, there will be a spark across the, the, the contacts because you're shutting off an inductive load. Now that spark is basically plasma. And that will actually burn the contacts over time. So ex to extend the contact life of a relay, they've put this magnet here. It's called a blowout, uh, blowout magnet. And you can see it's very close to the contacts. So when, when you energize an inductive load and then, and then de-energize it, and you get that spark, uh, the plasma uh, will respond to the magnetic field of this magnet and will actually blow out the spark. And that will extend the contact life of the relay. So that's one way that they've uh, solved the problem of uh, burning burnt contacts on relays is to use a magnetic field to interact with the plasma. Okay, here's the hookup connections for the high voltage transformer. Here you can see the 120 volt input terminals and there's your 12,000 volt output terminal and another terminal is on the side, on this side. So basically this transformer is out of a neon sign, a large neon sign. So if you go to a company that installs and services neon signs, you could pick up a transformer similar to this.